हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम आकाश वर्मा एंड टुडे आई एम गोना शो यू हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द टेक्स्ट फ्रॉम मल्टीपल फाइल्स एट द सेम टाइम सो एज यू कैन सी आई हैव अ मेन पाइथन फाइल एंड थ्री स्क्रीनशॉट्स फ्रॉम विच वी हैव टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द टेक्स्ट फर्स्ट इमेज इज दिस वन सेकेंड इज दिस वन एंड थर्ड इज दिस वन सो यू कैन क्लियरली सी there is a rich text written on these files so i'm going to open my main.py file i have specified how to download pytesseract in the earlier video and tesseract ocr engine that will be used to extract the text from the images i will provide the link in the description below first of all we have to type from tk enter import file dialog and we have to import the tesseract python package so to do that import tesseract as test so we have imported pytesseract and after that to use the command line tesseract ocr engine we have to import that so test dot tesseract dot tesseract cmd we have to specify the path as we have done in the previous video so in my pc the location of that package was c and program files by scrolling down i can find tesseract ocr folder and then i can see here the tesseract dot executive file copy the path here and paste it into here and then specify the name it's telling me that there is no package named pytesseract since it has activated a virtual environment so i have to install that pip install pytesseract using this command you can install pytesseract so let's move further we have to import the python image library also from below import image okay we have done importing stuff now we have to define a function i'm def defining it as extract inside that function i will name a variable which will hold all the images that has to be converted into text so file dialog box dot ask open file names since I'm going to select multiple files here. Select images, and I have to specify the text array, which will be empty in the beginning. This array is defined so that we can extract the text and put it into this text variable. So after that, we have to specify. variable n which will be which will hold the length of files and now for loop for i in range range have to be specified and for this purpose we have declared the n variable and i will open the images into image variable image dot 
open we will specify the files here and after that we will append the text extracted from images using pytesseract image to string and specify here what has to be appended and then first of all to make sure that the function is running without any errors i have to test it first here we can call our function name equals to equals to main and we have to call our function which is called extract and now I'm gonna run this python file it has opened as a small file dialog box now hold the control key and right click the images you want to select we have some errors here and open dot files okay it is an array files so we have to specify the array here now running that file again click and hold the control key and click the images you want to select then open and this will extract the text from the images that has been printed to our terminal here you can see it. the question is whether an overlay course grained to make that sure the text is same as in the image we have to open the image and here you can see the question is whether an overlay course grained and the text is same the text of second file is here you can see any enumeration of business process should any enumeration of business process should it's all the same now to use the extracted text we can store it into the text files so i'm gonna make some files let i will name it text files which will be the formatted text text dot sorry I'm using here formatted string dot text and I will specify the method and then I will write the text into the text file write text specific text into each file I'm gonna create with the help of Python so everything is okay I'm gonna run that file again as you can see there is no text file here and hold the control key and right click the images you want to select it's working yeah we have extracted our text and it is same as the previous text the question is whether an overlay the question is whether an overlay the text file 2 and text file 3 we have a text files we have successfully done that task hope you have enjoyed my video please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos